Welcome to The Appliance Show. I'm Jonathan, The Appliance Dude here at Curdo's in Westchester County. And I want to wish everybody a very, very happy Chinese New Year. Yes, at the end of this week, we're going to be entering the year 4711 or 4712, depending on which Chinese calendar you um, uh, subscribe to. But one thing is fact, and it is the year of the horse. Fisher Pico, okay, um, you've probably heard of them. They're known for these bad boys over here. These are the dish drawers, okay? The actual, the options that you have here can actually get a little confusing. And from a salesperson's perspective, it gets a little annoying. The nomenclature they use is kind of upside down and hard to uh, wrap your, you know, your mind around. But um, just to run down the list really quickly, I mean, you're looking at a dishwasher. They offer, they don't offer any traditional dishwashers, okay? They're all drawers. So you can get a double drawer, as I'm sitting in front of right now. This is actually a tall tub, meaning the top tub is actually larger than the bottom tub. And by doing that, they've actually created, they create more headroom up top. So you can fit, I think you can fit up to a 13-inch plate or extremely long stem glasses. So it gives you more, more headroom that way. Um, so you can buy a double dish drawer as a tall tub, as a standard tub, where both of them are, are, are the same size. Um, you can buy them with this design with the flat handle, or you can buy it where it actually has kind of like, um, it's like a recessed handle. Okay, it's handle agnostic, so it'll fit in any kitchen, it doesn't matter what handles are on your fridges or your stoves or whatever. Um, colors, stainless, black, white, and of course they also offer, you can put an integrated panel on it. Um, then they get into, if you don't want to double, they have singles, okay? And the single dishwasher is available on a 24, and it's also available on a very wide 30. I don't think I've ever sold a 30 before, but from what I've told, there is an audience for it. God bless. Um, uh, and then they also have other models. They have a specialty model, a hard water model. So if you live out in a rural area and your water's hard and it needs to be softened, you would buy that model. So somebody will say to me, well, aside from the fact that I'm putting my dishes in drawers, really, what is the reason to buy this dishwasher as opposed to getting a Bosch or getting, you know, you know, an ASCO or you know, anything else for that, my KitchenAid. And um, yeah, I mean, Fisher Pike had to do something aside from just having a different way to load your dishwashers. It has to be different things that they're offering. So um, first of all, I like to talk about the notion of independence. And what I mean by that is that when you have a dish drawer, you're in, they're independent of one another. So what you can do is you can actually do your wash in the tall tub and not do anything down here, okay? Or vice versa. So that, the fact that you can, only, you can actually just use one drawer at a time actually is very eco-friendly, okay? And um, they also can be run at the same time and have a different cycle going on in each different dishwasher. So you have flexibility and independence. I love that. There are also nine wash options, which I'm not gonna go over right now, but uh, many of them are eco-friendly. So they have that covered as well, flexibility. Um, they are also, if I am, yeah, I believe they're tier one rated as far as Energy Star is concerned. Actually, all of Fisher Paykel's products, especially the laundry as well, very, very, very environmentally focused and friendly. So if that's important to you, if you're all about being green, yeah, um, that's a company that is extremely green. Um, as far as flexibility, that's another key term when it comes to the dishwashers. The racks are incredibly flexible. Um, they can, uh, they allow it to have, again, I mean, with the tall tub, very, very, very tall dishes, stemware, you can move things around, you can play in there, you can jump in, it's a sandbox as well. No, I mean, it's, it's just, they give you flexibility, so you really, there really shouldn't be any issues. I mean, I know sometimes with the dishwasher, we have a conventional Bosch at home from about five years ago, and sometimes like, ah, this isn't really fitting so well, you're not gonna really run into that with, uh, with the Fisher Pico dishwasher. Of course, not that I'm trying to disparage Bosch here. You know, I mean, you know, you know, we're all good that way with Bosch, but um, um, it's just something, the flexibility in here is actually a bit different than some of the other dishwashers. So, you know, Fisher Pico is going to market a bit differently. They have a different angle than all the dishwasher manufacturers. They're saying to themselves, hey, we're Kiwis, we do things different we're on the other side of the world. We're, kind of, we're upside down compared to you guys. I mean, basically what's going on here is that they're not really talking about noise and you know, decibels and things like that. You know, that's Bosch's big mantra. And that's extremely important. I mean, God knows how I've you know, talked about dishwasher noise and decibels and Bosch's got the quietest models and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now what Fisher Paykel is talking about 
is it's about energy efficiency, it's about flexibility, it's about independence, and it's about safety. Those are the key salient points you have to latch on to when it comes to this. And also, they're, they like to look at themselves as being somewhat brand agnostic. I mean, you know, you can put this dishwasher in your kitchen and not have to worry about handles and things of that nature. I mean, I don't know if necessarily if you would get this model right here, though these handles kind of do go well with like Gaggenau and some kind of like postmodern, modern, postmodern post appliances you're going to put in your kitchen. But they're very sleek, they're flushed with the cabinets. I mean, I, I, I can't, like again, the folks who buy them typically love them. And I mean, what more, what, what more of a powerful statement can you make than that? I highly recommend buying them. Any questions, please, uh, please hit me up, jonathanacardos.com, call, uh, stop in if you're in the New York metropolitan market. And that's all good. Thank you. Happy Chinese New Year. You're the horse. Go. Wuss.